So let's say you wanted to divide a square sheet of paper into some number of segments, say 7, 9, 11, 13, some number that isn't reachable that easily. Well, there is an algorithm to do it for any number, and it works for every single number in existence, probably. I mean, no one's ever tested it, but it works for most applicable numbers in society today. So this comes from an understanding of the powers of 2. To refresh your memory, 2 to the power of 2 equals 4. So 4 is the second power of 2. Now, let's say you wanted to divide your paper into 7 segments, all right? What you want to do is find the greatest power of 2 that is less than the number you've chosen, or equal, depending on which number you've chosen. In the case of 7, that would be 4. What you want to do then is take your number minus the power of 2 and all that over the power of 2. 7 minus 4 over 4, and that equals 3 fourths. That's three-fourths is the number or the amount of distance from the bottom right corner of the paper you want to mark upwards. So we need a distance three-fourths of the paper up from the bottom, and that's easy because powers of two can be reached by simply folding the paper in half any number of times until you get to that distance. So that right there is three-fourths. What you want to do now is fold from the bottom left corner right here to that point you created, so the 3 fourths line. And you can see that this new line intersects the diagonal at some point. Well, what's special about this point? To find out what's special about this point, take the number of segments you divide it into, 7 minus your power of 4, and divide it by your number of segments. In this case, 7 minus 4 over 7 is 3 sevenths. The point where those two lines intersected is 3 sevenths of the way up from the bottom. So if we fold a horizontal line through that point, that is 3 sevenths of the paper, and then the top is 4 sevenths. From there, it's very easy to just get the rest of the segments. Just fold the fourth sevenths in half and then fold each of those segments into half again. Then isolate the top three segments and work on the bottom four. And there you go. That is a paper divided into seven equal segments. And that is the algorithm for how you do it. And that is how you divide a paper into any number of equal segments for guaranteed results.